Sunday was not the way we wanted to end this season. Um, but if you look back from where we came from to the end, so many of you grew, became much closer as an organization, as a family, and uh, I want to say thank you for a great year because last year to this year was a great turnaround. Um, obviously, we all expect to win a championship. That was our goal. We want to know every week. But uh, moving forward, I couldn't be happier with the group of kids we have. Um, our expectations to have each and every one of you back. I know that's not always the case. Um, but we're going to fight like hell to get you back and to make this team better. Uh, we're going to go out and recruit our asses off starting today, what we've already started, um, and just get us to be a championship team, guys, because that's our goal next year. For you eight that are leaving, I want to say thank you one more time. I need to meet with each and every one of you one on one before you go. We've already started that with Zach and Jack and Lucas. Um, I want to have one-on-one meetings with everyone here. Expectations, uh, my expectations of you, whether you're coming back or not, but whether it's my choice or yours, um, and where we're going as a team. Uh, I see this organization, I see this program getting better. I met, met with Eric today, and um, we went over some visions that we had in the locker room, and um, I'm stoked about that, guys. When you come back, you're gonna see a lot of changes in there. Um, you know, for you guys, for recruiting. Um, we're going to try to get a player's lounge in there and, and shape that stuff right up and uh, move, our, move our coaching locker room. But um, we're stoked, guys. I think that thing's going to look sick when it's done. Um, I just think, guys, the sky's the limit. Now, we're going to have some high expectations of you guys in the spring. Lifting, running, meeting. I want to continue our Thursday nights with Gary. Um, that's something I really want to do. We want to develop a leadership course. Uh, get you guys in here, get you guys around the facilities. Want to continue to lift. I think I've got seven or eight guys now that's going to join me to lift. I, I think I can take up to 10 and then I'll cap it there, but we're going to get after it this spring. Um, I want you guys to be brutally honest with me when we do our one-on-ones. But your expectations, where you think you can go, where this team needs to go. Anything that we did as an organization that you think we need to improve on. It's going to be an open forum when we meet one-on-one, -on -one, you and I. Um, and I, I'm, I'm just really, really excited about the direction we're going in. Um, we also need... Are you speaking again? We're at six. You're at six? Okay, Jake, you have anything to say to these kids? Okay. Now, also, how many of you guys are staying around? How many of you guys are leaving in the next couple days? I met with you, Lucas. I need to meet you, Dags. I met with you, Kelton. Alan, I need to be with you. Okay, Matt, I need to be with you. Jordan, when are you leaving? Uh, it's this weekend or after the weekend. I need to be with you this after that. I'll see you tomorrow the next day. Um, right. And then moving forward, guys, you guys are going to be our best recruiters. I've already talked to several of you about kids JT, Devin, um, Dylan, Zach, all you guys. Um, you know, moving forward, let's go get those studs. Because you guys are now alumnus of the Okanagan Sun, you eight guys are left. We need to help us now. For you eight guys that are looking to move on from here, I've already made three or four calls for Jack. Um, set your goals. You have a little bit of time, but if you're going to go somewhere in January, we need to get after it now. Now. Can't wait any longer. For those of you that don't think you're going to play anymore, you know that's fine too. But you know, however we can help you, we're here for you. Devin, my offer is there for you to come back and coach if you want. I'd love to have you. Um, I think you'd be phenomenal. I don't think you should play football anymore. <laughs> I think you'd be a great coach. Um, I want to say thank you guys for being respectful in the community, for handling yourselves well this year. We didn't have any issues, very minimal issues. Um, I, I, you know, that's, that's odd. And that just, that's a testament to how close you guys have become as a family. And to all these people here, I thank you. I mean, you guys, it's been awesome. And uh, there's some things we need to improve on, obviously. You know, and then you guys need to commit to us more in the workforce when we get you jobs, etc. And we'll talk about that. But uh, you know, I, I can't be happier as a head coach to have been around you guys all year long. And uh, I hope each and every one of you come back next year. And moving forward, you, you know, set your goals high, boys. Set your goals high. It's been, um, it's been a tough two days. You know, it's not, um, 
I'm not used to this. I thought we'd be still moving on and, and I'm lost right now, kind of. I'm not what the hell to do besides recruit. But, um, you know, if you guys need anything, I'm going to be around here until middle of December. Uh, I'm going to start getting, you know, maybe going on the road this weekend, but don't hesitate to call me or any of these coaches at any time. Kyle? Yeah, sure. Um, Kyle, something to briefly to say to you guys? Yeah, I just want to say thanks a lot for the year. Um, it was a great experience for me and hope you guys got uh, something other than two. Um, and for those of you that are going to be here off season, um, we're going to keep the team right for you guys. So if you come in, you get a pretty discounted rate um, just to help out with your off season training and all things like that. So that offer's on the table and look forward to seeing you guys. And for those of you that aren't going to be here, best of luck in the future, man. You guys, you know, the future's ahead of you. So, yeah. And you guys know that Roy is still available to you guys at all times, and I'm sure Marina will be too, even though her schedule's pretty busy too. Um, Gary. Um, I just want to say thank you to you guys. I'll let you know that uh, Eric and Ken and I are around in the off season. I do want to keep inner game going on Thursday nights. Uh, I think it's no secret that uh, most of us believe here that uh, you get your foundation uh, straight, and then uh, football and life will take care of itself. So we want to keep doing that. Uh, I want to say, and I think we repeat ourselves a little bit, but we are really trying to build this place to be the best place to play junior football in Canada. And uh, someone has said, you know, you're, if you're really serious about your words, they become your actions. If you're serious about your actions, they become your character, and your character becomes your destiny. And uh, you guys this year, I think most of you would agree, this is a great place to play football. So uh, we're going to just keep trying to make it better. I want to say thank you to also to the eight guys that are leaving. Uh, you guys all came back here this year, or some of you, a couple of you were brand new, and, you're, and you guys really set the leadership standard. And I want to say thank you. I want to say I think I really believe we're going to go on and win a championship. And I want to say you guys, I think, broke the barrier for that to begin. So uh, give yourselves a huge nod in the future when we see us do that, okay? Because you guys are part of this already so uh, I just want to say thanks. <clears throat> Took a lot some guys you know would have wanted to come back after last year because it was a bit of a chaotic year but uh, you guys came back and uh, it's awesome. Uh, what else can I say? Um, forgot. <laughs> Take your time. Take your time. I mean I, I don't know what Jay's gonna say but I want to say a huge huge thanks to Coach Shane bringing in the coaching staff. You guys were just uh, awesome and uh, If, I, if we don't have your phone number, I can't text you about uh, where inner game will be. So uh, get it to me. Otherwise, I'll just go off the sheet. I might just text everybody. So if you get that in your miles from here, just ignore it. But we won't meet this Thursday night, but we'll meet next Thursday. I don't know where yet. So uh, we'll figure that out. Okay? Thank you. Um, so now, how many of you guys have furniture from our, our um, that we gave you guys from the beginning of the year? Because I have no clue. One of you, eh? Just one, eh? So that whole storage shed is gone? Pretty good. You got it all? Well, I'll leave that for Tomiko. What's that? Well, whatever. You're not just the storage shed from the Okanagan <coughs> Sun. Just you, eh? The, in the house? Well, there's some in the house, I think. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I'm taking it. No, I'm kidding. Uh, that's Tomiko's thing. <laughs> Now, how many of you guys um, on Thursday nights are going to want to keep going with the, with the inner game? How many of you guys can we expect to keep coming? That's awesome. Okay. And we'd love that, guys. It's only going to get better and better. Um, Ken and I were talking. We're going to bring in some people to do some evaluation on you for um, your career path. Um, we're going to bring in some people to talk to you about leadership. And um, we're going to really get that going. In the off season, it's just going to be more than just running and lifting and football. We want to do some meetings, get together with you kids. Talk football, talk life skills, and uh, Ken and Eric and Gary, I, I can't say thank you enough um, for what you've done for this program. It's 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 amazing what you gentlemen have brought to us and allowed us to do. 
and the direction we're going in. And guys, you know, seriously, when I when I met with Eric today about the locker room, and he had some ideas, and I was like, yeah, heck yeah. And uh, when you come back, guys, you're gonna see some changes in there that are, are about you, Ben. And um, it's gonna help us with recruiting. It's gonna make this program look so much better. And uh, I can't say thank you enough for what you've done and what we're about to do. And uh, going forward, you got my attention. And thank you. You guys, say thank you to the gentlemen. Now, for you and you guys at school, how many of you guys in school right now? This should be 22, 23, yeah? you got to finish strong. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be facetious here, but uh, don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. Don't waste the organization's um, efforts in the scholarship funds. Finish strong. Finish the drill. Don't leave early. Finish your exams. Do whatever your instructor tells you to do. It's important. Jack, how'd your last year at Acadia go? Uh, not too good. Not too good. And it forced, it, I'm being honest with you now, he's one of the best ball players I've been around in a long, long time. And it's forced his hand now. And uh, when you go to school and you slack off for a year or two and your GPA sucks, now you're fighting an uphill battle no matter how good you are. No matter how good you are. And in Jack's case, he's damn good. He's a damn good kid. But at the same time, it's going to be a struggle to do certain things with him. Because he slacked off in that last year. And then consequently, he came here to play for us. You know, which is a great thing for us, but it's a double edged sword for you. Um, so for those of you in school right now, and have any, maybe not even coming back, don't just leave school. Finish the drill. School is the, that's the one thing they can't take from you when you go to your grade, is that certificate you, you get when you get your degree. Nobody can ever take that from you, is your degree. It's so important. Moving forward, I want to see a shitload of you in school. Guys, it's crucial. Get your degree. You guys got to finish strong. School is not for everybody, but there's trades, there's, there's Okanagan College. Moving forward, set some goals for yourself. <coughs> we don't talk about that enough around here. You know, a teaching degree is not for everybody, but a trade may be. Find a way, a, a training certificate, <coughs> firefighting. Find something, find a niche. Okay, don't just come here and play ball. Just find something to make your life better. Where it's, where it's a trade, it's an it's a internship, something like that. Because we're here for you to help you do that. So Ken and I are meeting tomorrow. Uh, we're going to go over. We're meeting with um, people to go over to highlight tape and, and video and stuff like that tomorrow to get up to all the recruits. But we're also going to talk um, about a career, a career path. Um, what's his name? Ken, do you want to come talk about it? Please. <laughs> you like talking. But hey. Ken's got a gentleman that's going to come talk to us, and we're going to pick out a bunch of you guys. Yeah, I got a friend of mine. We've been working together for a number of years. He's uh, good friends with Marcus Buckingham down in the States, and uh, they're connected with a Gallup uh, organization. They do uh, psychometrics called Strength Finders and, and other ones. We'll custom package one for, for the players for your age and what, where you're going for. But it's like a four hour in the afternoon, and they do an assessment of you for career and character. And, where you need to go and how to work on your strengths and so we want to start implementing that. And that's going to be huge so we're, that's something we're going to talk about here shortly. Uh, Ken and I'll sit down and then um, we're going to get that guy involved and get you guys in okay because everybody is different. Some of you guys are going to be garbage men, some of you guys are going to be freaking mayors, who knows. <laughs> Daley is going to be freaking the next major scientist of the world. <laughs> your family's pretty cool. What happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, take advantage of it, guys. And um, you know, I want to say thanks to Paul, and Jay, and the organization. Uh, you guys want to say this?